Okay, and we're done. You wanna know what's the saddest thing? This man literally did all the copycat killer stuff, studied it, and still fucked it up somehow. You know, some people just ain't that skilled. Bro, this looks so badass. The mailman is an urban legend of Kanai War. I hope I can find this art. Done the name of someone you want dead, and drive a nail through it and a doll to a tree behind the church. And the mailman will mm. kill that person for you with a countless number of nails. I'm not gonna lie, speed this up, gang. A string of murders exactly like that urban legend began half a year ago. I'm not gonna lie, y'all about to hear me mute up in just a second, okay? About to put this on automatic. All of the crime scenes featured a corpse and dolls nailed down within a locked room. The first murder happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamisaki District. The victim was none other than the geezer who owned the place, and the cause of death was strangulation. I heard the buy-in to place a bet was pretty steep, and cheating was rampant, so it was obviously a scummy place. The key to the door was inside of the glass. And the vent that connects outside looked too high for escape to be possible. Dun, 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 the second murder happened three months ago. It was at a mansion near Gima District. The victim was some real estate agent who lived there. And the cause of death was again strangulation. He made a lot of money through shady real estate deals, so of course someone would be out to get him. The door to the crime scene was the only possible entrance. But the key to that door was underneath the nailed down victim. After the culprit escaped, some sort of trick was used to get the key back into the room. Fishing line passed from the vent through the eye socket of the doll and propped up the upper body of the corpse. All that was left was to exit the room, lock it, throw the key in from the vent, and boom! You got yourself a locked room mystery! The key was tossed under the victim from the vent, and once the fishing line was retrieved, the corpse's upper body fell over, completing the crime scene. The nails on the upper body didn't pierce through completely, so it wasn't nailed down at all. The third murder happened one month ago in an art gallery storage room in Gima District. The snake's cause of death was blood force trauma. She was a pretty lady who let her looks get to her head, and she got bone killed. The key to the storage room was nailed to a painting through a doll. Another trick was used to get the key back inside the room here. The painting with the doll nailed to it was propped up against the window, and then the culprit left the room. They nailed the key to the painting through the window, knocked it over, and bam! All done! Those are the truths behind the past three cases. There's been another murder at the clock tower in Kanai Ward. See, I don't know why they did the why the copycat killer did. I'm not sure if I just didn't hear it, but I just don't know why. Crime scene is rather high up on the third floor. The door was locked from the inside, and the window shutters were also locked. There was rainwater under the window, and the nails in two of the dolls had rug marks. In other words, the culprit must have hung a rope ladder from the dolls to escape out the window. With my logic, her voice got mad serious. Wait, is that Halara? Imitating Halara. Oh, anyway. okay. <laughs> yeah, that oh, that was a good, that was good though. From the way that she was speaking, it was that was a very good one. The shutters go down under their own weight, so they locked once the rope was collected. I'm surprised you noticed the auto-locking feature. You sure love your 
your shutters, Master. The rope ladder was collected, then burned in the church incinerator, which only clergy have access to. That's how we must Damn. be someone from the clergy. But Bro, I'm playing with this super sonic boy again. Why the top of that characteristic? All the victims were murdered by strangulation. This piece of information wasn't publicized. That is a crazy thing to really think about. Which means that it was someone mimicking the nail. Is that this man was really strangling people and make them suffer? But why? That's my question, but why? First, the mailman must be someone thin enough to pass through the vent. Someone with the skills to build a key with precision. And someone affiliated with the church. The priest, I don't know how we mailman. would know he would be just instantly skilled to, but it isn't like we know him to be a baseball player or something. Oh, both of these things are about to die? Or is it going to be like the one? And the copycat is someone who knows that all of the victims were strangled to death. <laughs> this nigga looking around way, huh? Wait. Each case, what, what are all these? What am I hearing? What? What the? The worshiper. Huh? You're the copycat criminal. Ah! Nagara. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, so. Good. Enjoy your last puff, nigga. Is the truth of the case. Welcome to the afterlife. What's that? It's the truth. Their souls. The soul of the true culprit who built this mystery labyrinth. I see. It looks otherworldly, but there's an ominous air around it. Thank you, Halara. I was only able to make it this far thanks to you. I only kept my part of the deal. You made the right choice hiring me. But I will say one thing. You've taken another step toward being a detective. That much I is thought you were going to be all like, no, I, Halara no, Nightmare, no acknowledge you. R okay. Really, Halara? You... Do? I bet she's gonna be all like, "Yep, that means the the, the price goes up." <gasps> Your hand. Are you seeing our hands? Yeah, she just does. What's about to happen? You're about to watch them all get murdered. Or she's gonna say, "Run, boo." Okay. Bro, I'm literally also about to put my room lights in the room in the color I usually <laughs> lay down into. Cause I'm literally turning on my setup after all this. I'm getting it done. There's a good chance that the channel is about to just get straight rain cold. And then we're gonna get Star Wars after some two or three raincoat codes. I gotta get back on my streak. I want the streak starving. And we gotta get them right raincoat. Let's go! Get boom killed. Mean gods. Mean gods. The gods. Was one of those the old YouTube fire? thing they put on there transition that everyone had that goes <laughs> even I had it at one point sure did I use it on the channel father uh, uh, are you all right what's going on what happened to those two? There's no 
Oh, they said the peacekeepers are behind. Dead. What? So what's the peacekeepers what involvement? I sure worked hard today. Feels so good to boom kill the murderer. The mystery labyrinth crumbles when you reap the soul of the true culprit. What if we don't reap it then, though? The cause of the mystery oh, wait, no, it's creation so pays the price by vanishing with it. I knew this would happen, but it still hurts to see someone die before my eyes. It's like I killed them myself. No, I did kill them. I killed them with the ruthless blade of the truth. There, there. Humans boom kill cats I didn't have to say his... and eat them. You don't feel bad about that, right? These were the souls of deranged murderers. At least you didn't eat them. If you look at it that way, there is nothing to feel bad about at all. It's not so simple when it comes to people dying. You wouldn't have to play two people, like I said, it would ultimately end. Did you the kill them finding with out. some kind of poison? Hey, hold on! I have no idea what's going on here! Yo... Uh, too much is happening all at once! We shall talk at headquarters. Follow me there immediately. Is it just me, or are things more complicated now than before entering the Mystery Labyrinth? Oh, you want help? Are you going to rely on me again? I'm confused. Oh, I can't say no when you ask for help. See, this is the thing, the Mystery Lab really don't do nothing. Shinigami just gives the gab. Wait, what? <laughs> He came back to life! <laughs> Sorry about that! You see, I'm actually the man. What? These are my final words, so I can't lie. I'm the nail man. The worshiper laying there is just a copycat criminal. Search the church for the tools used in each crime. Bro. I'm sure you'll find plenty of evidence. Literally, the, literally lying, the the li mystery lab does Thanks. nothing. Like it does nothing, bro. Like what are we doing right now? It does nothing. I didn't know you could do that. But that was a super lazy confession. Probably. Will it work? Probably only in that dead bodies. Do it. We even have witnesses, people. so this case is closed. The priest. Mumbled something, but I couldn't quite hear him. Anyway, everyone here will be taken to Amaterasu Corporation at once. Yeah, what? that ain't happening. It wasn't effective at all. He's so stubborn. This is why I hate authority. What do we do? Wait, I hear something. Huh? Uh. What now? A motorbike. Something is heading this way at an alarming speed. It can't be. What? Oh, uh, is it his boss? Where is that? I do kind of like the comic art style they're doing with the line. Oh shit! Is it the drippy nigga with the red hair, bro? What are you doing? Get back. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking you? I fucks with him, bro. I saw the bad you guy trailer. Speak so I fucks with this nigga. Who do you think I am? The hero who defends I know that voice actor. Upon I ward, director of the Amaterasu Peacekeepers. The honorable Yomi Hell Smile. Hell Smile? Okay, y'all niggas have goofy ass last names, bro. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm a little directed. nightmare. Coco had like you guys have names that are just so two words together, basically. Now you know, small fry. Bow down.
Bro, I know his voice. <laughs> now you know, small front. Bow down. Back off. If you know what's good. For I'm like, bro. What are you I'm only doing? trying to do his voice because I've had. No need to be alarmed. Benevolent Director Yomi is here to help. Oh, excuse me for the late introduction. I am Vice Director of the Peacekeepers, Martina Electro. She's my beloved right hand. No one else gets to. Oh, they fucking. What's with him? Master, <laughs> be careful. This Yomi guy is dangerous. Huh? I've never seen anyone emit such a dangerous aura before. He's that bad? This nigga's Louis? So. James what Moriarty? Oh, right. The brother of James so and Laga? Right that I completely forgot. As mentioned earlier, Director Yomi is here to help. I hear you've been troubled by Seth's unreasonable treatment. Is that right? Huh? Yes. D Director Yomi, what is going on here? Yeah, I've heard. Why am I? We have discovered you've been bitch. receiving sizable kickbacks for facilitating donations meant for the church. Oh. We now know why you were oh, so, so this is how. to clean up all the nail man killings. After all, it That's would be crazy troublesome game. to lose access to all that money. If the priest was arrested as the nail man. Wait, please. Director Yomi, I did this under your orders. What? Oh, now, oh I'd be fucking pissed. You're gonna. Did oh, you're you gonna say, say you did something? it for me? Because I didn't hear a thing. I, I only did this because you, you ordered me to. Seth, Very sweet you up. make me sad. I am oh, the hero fuck. and defender of peace in this city. My peacekeepers oh, are proud this soldiers of that mission. And yet, you let yourself be corrupted. How could you? <laughs> I knew I'm gonna fuck, I was gonna fuck with this guy. For the sake of the peacekeepers and the peace of Kanai Ward. Die. Yeah, Taking I had advantage a feeling. of your position as a peacekeeper executive is a serious crime. The punishment must be severe. But, but yeah, I'm annoyed my own underling would betray me like this. So annoyed. Maybe this dude is a good dude. <laughs> didn't toy around with my beloved right hand. It's an honor. Oh, what the He's fuck? Terrible. Like a lizard cutting off its own tail to survive. Someone like him is in charge. This nigga like me for it. <laughs> don't look him in the eyes. Having his kick and eating it too. Either. If possible, don't even breathe the same air Searching up who the girl, no, the girl he's fucking, he's fucking, bro. Well, okay, then. yeah, she's Martina. She voiced someone. To our ship for fighter. brains, friends playing detective. Looks like I have to give you a warning. Know your place in my city and stay there. Follow the rules and don't disturb our peace. Oh, or she was in Lupin. I'll need you I'm to gonna be die. <laughs> <laughs> In this city, Director Yomi is both the law Speed and the peace receptionist. Defying us means you defy law two and two characters order. Are eating. You will receive fitting treatment for such behavior. Before <gasps> you were insignificant oh, specks of dust, fuck. but now that you've banded together, you've become an eyesore. 
She Detective was she's Kabuyasha or something from eighty six. I forgot. Kirsch Bluta, there it is. Wow. That's Did she just spit nice. on him? Let's go, my beloved right hand. Where's the transcript? No transcript? Got it. Yes, Director Yomi. Bro, you be having that beloved white hand fucking I know Yaki <sighs> shit rain. She was also like from so Akadami Drive. Yeah, thanks to you. So, so yeah, we'll she has more minor all roles. Over. You got that? I'm sorry, but no buts, none. How did this happen anyway? Alara, help me out. Dumb. Please explain dun, what happened. Dun. She's gonna charge you, bro. You acknowledged Why me you? as a detective, didn't you? What? When did I say that? Oh, oh yeah, you a bitch. That's such a shame, Master. Everything that happens in the mystery labyrinth gets forgotten. What? Pelara's memory must have been wiped after entering and leaving the labyrinth. Nothing inside the mystery labyrinth can be taken into the real world. Not even memories. Unless you have Bro. a contract with yours truly, that is. We need we need someone what? with a forte that shares memories. Polara and I had finally reached an understanding. Memories from up until you enter the mystery labyrinth are retained, like the debt you owe for your assignment. Oh. Hey, Yuma, are you listening? You better make sure this doesn't happen again. By the way, Chief, our submarine office is tipping over. Are you sure the peacekeepers didn't mess with it? What? Wait, what? Seriously? I have to go back and repair it. Yuma, help me out. Follow me. Okay. It was supposed to be time for you to reveal Kinda. the solution, but we've ended up in quite the mess. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. This is my first time dealing with the true culprit dying before they could be accused. But I recall how you did your best to try and solve the case. Huh? You should be proud. Oh, Laura. Look, the chief is calling for you. You should go. Right. So she Thank isn't going to acknowledge me, but she's going to give me respect. I can I can I can live with that. There's a simp in me, you know. It's the little things in life, you know, guys. It's the little things. <laughs> so those little dubs you can take when you take big L's, bro. I should know. Like, I've been on my L taking art, bro. <laughs> it's them little doves you can get all along the way, bro, that make those big doves seem a little more manageable. And hopefully, you know, everything works out. Everything has, at the end of the day, everything is going to work itself out, whether we like it or how it is or not. Is she touching our butt? The peacekeeper executive was taking bribes from the church? If Director Yomi said so, it would be considered the truth, even if it isn't. What about the priest being the new man? It's going to be publicly announced as the truth. It appears the priest's strong desire to save others turned him into the nail man. He saw people wishing for revenge as they hammered those nails in the forest and decided he needed to save them. That was the motive, though it could all be a story made up by the peacekeepers. But so what about the what copycat? About the kitty cat criminal? You mean the copycat? That one was already publicized as well. They say the copycat did it out of admiration for the real nail man. I hate niggas, bro. And in the end, he hey, and so true crime, bro. Fuck true crime videos, all that other shit, nigga. Sense. 
The only I true sure crime shit I like is the, the interrogation me. room one. Where niggas look like bitches. Show niggas snitching. It would make more sense glorifying how they did it somehow. and not making them look how all, all smart Especially when you consider the time but then this one thing got do it without batting an eye. Yomi Hellsmile, the director of the Peacekeepers, the leader of our enemy. I heard he rode in on a dragon. The leader of the Peacekeepers, no, so then he doesn't own... From what I've investigated, he doesn't own Peacekeeper's influence is gaining ground at the Amaterasu Corporation. There's some sort of power Gaming struggle ground? going on. Seems like they're getting their way internally. Oh. I hear that their boss, Yomi, is extraordinarily dangerous. Extraordinary. So he is very normal? How scary. It's only a matter of time until the peacekeepers gain complete control of the corporation. When that happens, they might outright attack the World Detective Organization. Perhaps the WDO hmm. made its move because they saw the warning signs. If that's the case, that is it a possibility. Something to do with Conai Ward's ultimate it's secret. even funnier. Miss Money has the most oh, yeah. fancy chair. The I wonder if she Conai bought Ward's it. Conai ultimate secret. We still know nothing about it, huh? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the Nailman incident. I wonder what it could be. Sheesh! Oh, so much to deal with. This sounds exhausting. Didn't I tell you that from the start? We have to obey directives from number one, no matter how difficult they are. <sighs> well, well, we got some very talented master detectives gathered here. I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, you got me here, you know? So much. What the fuck? You know, it was. Everything changes from now on. Yuma, okay. you can take a seat now. Wait, he was. Numb. Wait, they Don't told him. He told him to sit from like now on, for everyone's sake. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Hey, we worked super hard. Sorry. I'm so stressed. I could die. Oh wait, but I can't die. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Do we have a visitor? That's rare. What the fuck? Yuma, can you go get it? Sure. Imagine if it's Hell Smile. It's probably the person that got off the train. Oh! It's you! My dad is back safe at home! It's all thanks I to thought you. the submarine is a, was hidden. No. Because I just considered, no, or I was it a hidden said, thing? So I'm surprised no, people can just I'm go on the submarine. Oh, look at you getting thanked. You were on your knees just a moment ago. Be quiet. Oh. Um, there's one more thing I want to ask you. What is it? Did someone else die or something? Will you play catch with me? Huh? Oh, um, but you got your daddy, bro. It's raining. Actually, sure. Let's play. Imagine this nigga ends up being a killer. I wonder what's the numbers on his shirt lead to. I bet that's an Easter egg or some shit. Or if you type the them in somewhere, rain. something pops up. My memories still seem like faraway raindrops. My hands still have yet to grasp a single thing. I'm still lost. Is it all right for me to be here? You can still play catch in the rain. But with the warm baseball gripped in my hand, my heart somehow feels lighter. What the dick? Why I want to be a detective? It could have been for the sake of something so small dirty that it fits in my bro. hand. Kind of gay. <laughs> Maybe I should give and myself credit wet, for this bro. small realization. You have to put on gloves. Oh fuck! 
so for just Damn, a you just want to strike out, gang. I think I'll keep pretending to be a detective. Okay. And that's all. Fuck, this is 30 minutes? This is 30 minutes. 30 minutes is crazy, gang. I think I know a way how I'm going to do my thumbnails from now on. I probably got like a B. This was not my best. It's on final grade. I gotta start using my points. A. Hey.